Look, I know you work here, and I do wish that I could afford my lifestyle with the minimum wage that you earn, but seriously, just because you're behind the counter, it does not mean you know everything about music. And just because you get to work the cash register, it does not make your taste in music the end-all be-all. Sort of like if you had an internet show where you went on endlessly every single day about music, it doesn't mean that other people can't have valid music opinions. And I'm sorry that I had to tear you away from your texting or reading that oh-so-interesting article on the HuffPo, but I hate to break it to you, your job here is to take my money in exchange for these records. So there's no need for the huge dramatic sigh or the condescending look when I'm waiting at the counter. Yeah, I am buying the new album from the fall along with that brand new pop rock album that you tried to bury in the new releases section. And you know what? I'm gonna listen to the rock album first, because I can. Also, I'm well aware that your little zine, your fellow snob, or Pitchfork magazine all gave this album a horrible review. But unlike you, I like to develop my own opinions on music. I guess I'm just weird that way. What's that? You're going to see a house show tonight with the only band that still keeps it real? Wow, that's really cool. And yet you decided to play Clap Your Hands Say Yeah on the store speakers because they're not cliche or anything. And for the record, if I ask you what's playing on the store stereo speakers, chances are I'm asking because I don't know. So you can save the pompous look and saying to me, oh, you don't know these guys? Seriously. You're just asking for a lengthy lecture on Rune Lindblad and other 1950s Swedish tape manipulators? And trust me, I love to talk endlessly about that. So really, arrogant music store employee, take your thick rim glasses, your oh-so-original star tattoo on your wrist, your greasy hair, and your holier-than-thou attitude that only turns people off to the music you suggest, as well as your store in general. And remember that just because you work at a music store doesn't make you any better or more authoritative a person in any way. And honestly, get over yourself. Hey!